Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Knives. It's your host Fletcher, and today we are doing a 15V carry update. So, as you can probably tell, this guy has gotten some use on it, but I did also sharpen it. I sharpened 15V to 400 grit. The factory edge lasted for a decent amount of time. But in my use, I'd kind of bumped up against some metal, and so it had killed some of the spots on the edge. The I wasn't too... I didn't have very high expectations of the factory edge, is what I was meaning to say. Just because most factory edges, you know, they're burnt. And so I just wanted to see how long it would last. It, it still lasted a pretty decent amount of time, just off the factory edge. And then I have sharpened this guy to 400 grit, and I've been carrying it like that for past couple of weeks. And it actually, at 400 grit, this knife really, really likes 400 grit. It, it did a very, very good job at 400 grit. One thing I actually did just notice, I don't know if you guys can see that on there, is there is starting to get a little bit of surface rust. It is... Most of the time when I carry this guy in my pocket, if I'm sweating a lot, which is probably why that's starting to get on there. So I'm probably just going to see how it goes, see if a patina develops or anything like that. If it starts to get any real deep rust, I'm going to do Barkeeper's Friend on it and maybe start patina with some kind of lemon juice or something like that just to get a protective coating going. But it's just kind of starting to get a little bit of rust and patina around where I would touch the blade. Kind of expected with a tool steel such as this. What I did sharpen this guy with was with my Venev stones. I believe they're 320 grit or there's, it's something like they're 240 is about a, either one of those are about a 400 the FIPA 400 grit is about a thousand. I didn't go there. I went to the 400 grit and then I stropped to one micron and this guy has been doing phenomenally. The 400 grit is super toothy. It, it bites in, it grabs. Uh, when I was trying to scrape stickers off of some plastic, I could kind of just saw back and forth and it would, it was still sharp enough even with that high of a grit that it was just shearing those stickers right off and it actually did pretty good i was i was rather impressed i had to do that multiple times and it, it just it held up really well on zip ties 15v does fantastic i was a little weird worried near the tip you know I was, so i, I kind of would have to insert the tip in there and then and almost kind of snap the zip tie but that did phenomenally. This edge is still going strong. I just tested it. It still cuts paper very nice after two weeks of use. And it's been it's been getting some pretty decent use on it. You know, your usual breaking down of cardboard, zip ties, plastic, tape. It's just eating it all. And I figured I'd give you guys an update because I didn't really do an update video on the factory edge. The, the factory edge lasted me probably a, a couple weeks of consistent work just you know in terms of using the knife work and I was actually pretty pleasantly surprised Def definitely the factory edge held up longer than something like a s30v Pro probably more towards in the realm of something of uh, like crew wear but a little less since sharpening it though it's definitely lasted how long something like crew wear would last uh, but now it's definitely lasting longer I suspect as I, I sharpen it one more time and go to something like a higher grit, I'm really curious how the steel will respond to something like a 1000 grit edge, which I would consider a medium grit. And I'll probably do something like a very high polished edge just because I've seen a lot of those on social media. And so I'm curious if it's more form over function kind of thing. But I, I really do like the, the 400 grit edge on this guy felt really nice. It's, it's, it's really aggressive, even after some use. The, the stropping does kind of subdue the, the bite just, just a little bit. But it, I feel like it just refines it really well. 
And so definitely not a knock towards this steel because even if it kind of loses the feel of bite because it's been stropped, in actual use, the edge does feel very toothy. My wife was cutting some twine with it and literally, this is how sharp it got off of the 400 grit. Literally touched the twine and split it like that. It just instantly split. <laughs> so at 400 grit, this guy gets plenty sharp. It cuts very well. And so far the edge has lasted very long on, on what some people would consider a somewhat coarse grit at, at 400. But I suspected with the carbide content, having all that carbide exposed would lead to a very long lasting edge, even if the carbide was in a less refined state. And so I'm very happy and excited about how this has kind of turned out. And I will show you guys the edge. Getting a lot of sunlight, so it's hard to see the real, see if I get it up close. See, I you can. it's a little blurry, but you can still see plenty of teeth in it. It was stropped, so it does kind of polish the teeth out a little bit. But I think the factory edge might have even been a a less a less refined grit than that, maybe a three hundred something, just from comparison of the way the grit looks on the edge. The so far this just the construction of this PM two was phenomenal. No side to side, no no up and down and anything like that it's i would say centered it's they really did a good job constructing these pm2s but also on the 15v i'm i'm very excited i do probably want to see how it'll drop back at the lower grit so right when it starts to stop cutting paper i will strop it and probably do another update then just because i think this edge is far from dull I don't think it'll shave hair. It was shaving hair when I first sharpened it. Let's see near the tip. Oh, it, it still is popping hairs, and I've been using that that area of the edge a lot. So actually, that's that's even more so impressive that it's it's still shaving sharp. I did not think it was still shaving sharp in that one area. So color color me impressed. <laughs> color me rather impressed because it's cut decent amount of cardboard. And even at that higher grid, it's shaving hair. So very impressed. I'll, I'll do another update once the, the edge dies on this coarse grit. Um, and I'm definitely going to strop it and maybe either do a short or, or maybe when I'm doing the update, strop it and just see how sharp it gets. So. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you have any stories about 15V, go ahead and share them down below. Do subscribe, it helps out the channel. Any uh, like, comment, shares, anything like that helps us out. But I do also want to hear your guys' thoughts, maybe any questions, shoot them down below. Thanks again for watching, guys. And don't you forget to stay sharp.